Hello everybody, how good of you to join. Welcome back to Anno. Now we need to be quick about it. We are at Sir Archibald and I want to sell two of my items here for 84,000 credits. So those are the items that we got from quests. Let's take my ships and get them back home safely again. This time to Discordia, I think. Because the Admiral, once he sees my ships and he probably has seen them, he's going to attack me. And I rather want to be gone from this place here. This is too unsafe for us, um, Archibald. Now, what we can do finally in the new world is, yep, that's right, getting our production up for those Juanaleros. And that is what we need first is um, the fish oil. And the fish oil I rather have in my main harbor for now because here we got some defense, right? On the other side, we don't have the defense and we would lose um, our fish oil factories quite often. Let's just get my, my frigates away there for now and get us the fish oil that we need. So we have three plantains um, up. That means I need three fish oil factories to work with us as well. We might be able to squeeze them all in here. What I can also do is, yep, I could just have them here outside. And I think that's what we can do here. Yep, that's right. This is how it's looking. We actually have a depot here that we don't need, so we do have a bit more room. I like those Ks. Gotta say that. Huge fan of them. Let's build three for now. They're working. We can still expand a bit more if we want to, and ships can pass through this channel here that are on trade routes, or on the other side, of course. But there we are profiting from the defense here too. Now, PC Italian is transporting already the second time now, the plantains. So we have lots, or we should be having some plantain here already. 40 tons, very good. Fish oil is working too. And that means that all we really need to do now is, yep, getting our production up. No now, fields, no work. that is fine. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Hola. I think, yep. The blueprint didn't work out sorry that was my mistake because i thought the blueprint would have been built already but we need to deactivate the blueprint of course for the fields otherwise it's not counting for those farms and one more now it's working yeah very good very careful these are the small details that's that um what we might want to have here should we have the factory or the plantain Yep, let's have the plantain factories here as well. And the only thing really, let's expand a bit to that side. That All the high trees, I don't see anything. Let's build us a second warehouse. We definitely will need a second one here because we got lots of stuff happening. And here we have the kitchens. Four of them for now. We might expand later, even though I doubt we do need that much. Three, perfect, that's it. The fire station in the center is hopefully securing my industry. And that means that the plantain is coming in now, the fried plantains. Rum and church, they have already, so they're really happy people. We have lots of timber though. Mm, I might just build a few more, just because I can. And just because it's a lot of fun expanding your town. another warehouse a marketplace up there and we might then also have another one here i think this might be one of my biggest new world towns yet right that will look pretty great up here um let's have those blocks for it in my quaint town with their little gardens right here and nope wait a second this area we might have a chapel Ah, looking good. Or actually, let's keep a bit of room behind it. Yep. For some trees. And here we can continue it then all the way. And here. And yes, let's build it. Those guys there. The marketplace and the chapel. Very good. Punit is growing there too. Hello, Clipper Isabel. Oh, we still don't have defense here. So the white flag is over now. He's still not advancing though. Bye. If I see a, a fleet advancing here, we might just take my frigates that are very quick anyway to help to help out on Velo. But that should be fine. Ah, so happy with the plantain that we have now. And what we have here too is the clay deposits. We have but four clay deposits in Punit. And yep, we have the warehouse here already. So I might just um, build the clay pit then once we have the obreros. And that should be happening now pretty soon as we can see the first fish oil is also being tra transported now on our big k 
Uh, let's make this a bit more beautiful here. Or a bit more proper looking for harp area. Meanwhile, in this courtyard, let's continue building a few more farmers since we have all the timber coming in here. Right, oh, they should actually be happy. Very good. That's that. And there we have. It will be going to 300, most likely 400 farmers with that now. Just to be on the safe side, let's build another block here for the scoria. The timber we have then too. And this is going to be now red pepper and kettles. That's two things. Plus we have iron and coal here too. The scoria, the scoria. We might, yep, let's have the, the cattle farms over here. Because there we just have some rocky terrain which is also good for animal farms not so good for plantations plantations i would like to have in these uh, bigger fields that we have available here so the first thing we have the warehouse and then we have the canned food now for the canned food we also need the iron mine we do have some iron deposit here and we do have some two iron deposit and drink water that i'm going to exploit then too and let's just have let's see about let's build three kitchens for now that should be fine then the cattle farms so i do need three cattle farms and three uh, red pepper farms because they're really slow when it comes to producing anything and we might have the first one up there and then just build a few more of these farms now once again we need to be careful when is it blueprinted right and when is it not because <laughs> that is always bit of a problem there. Oh, we destroyed a ship of fruit. That's fine. I would have been angry if it's vice versa. When I think of you, I think there we have the first three and we can just actually copy this one for the whole area then. And the other thing is then for the red pepper and that's most likely going to happen here. So the main road is going to end with this warehouse then. And right next to it we do have then those beautiful red pepper plantations. Quite a lot of them we should be able. Yes, like that. Once again, three. And just to make it clear what's going to happen here long term wise, that's that. A lot of red pepper. There we have that. And the city can, of course, grow all the way then to this spot here. Right? And then we might have more red pepper down here and down here. But it's not going to be a Crown Falls like city, right? So we don't need endless productions all the time. It's just the plague that is worrying here a bit, but. It's just a bit of money that we lose there. We still have 2,000 on the credits. Of course, I will need a ship for that. And by the way, yes, we can build the next ship of the line. And Greedy Gannet, you're going to be on this trade route then for the red pepper and the beef. Now, that's the only thing we can do over there, right? Because the artisanal kitchen already needs the artisans. The same with the cannery. So this is something we need to have then in Grimmen, our um, industrial zone. So let's just have the red Gannet on this um, trade route going to be from the Scordia to the Grimmen and let's just see it's actually here the red pepper two times and the beef two times that's fine and on its way it's a rather short route and it's going from one defended harbor to the other one so I'm, I'm not expecting any need for defense there oh also Miss Hunt just wants to show that she's alive She's just coming in, passing by, but of course, with all the defense that we have there, I'm not worried the least. And yep, let's build it. There we have it. And all of these cattle farms there. And on the other side, this warehouse there and the first three red pepper farms. Uh, this is a trap. He wanted me to use shift key now. <laughs> this would have ended badly. So there we got the red pepper now. And on the other hand, in drink water, um, I would like to build now my iron mines. Though I will need some bricks over there. And bricks is what we have now plenty of. Coconut Queen. Coconut Queen, you're going to deliver me some bricks. And yep, some steel beams also. And perhaps, let's say, some 20 weapons. So that we can also reinforce drink water. Something that we should be doing now as well. Since the ships are getting stronger and stronger. Now back in Punit, what we can do now, yes, 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 is right. We can upgrade our first buildings. Let's do that. 
And thus we got the Obreros, the Age of Independence in Punit. Looking good, beautiful buildings there. This town is getting somewhere. Let's just upgrade a few of them. I love that. Upgrading. Uh, perhaps those guys here are also. Right, to have a smaller cool town here for now. And this is bringing in me now four, 500 Obreros. That's quite a lot. And it should also open up now the cannons. There we have them, the cannon tower. That's actually really expensive though, 40 tons of bricks. I'm going to need a, no, actually what we need first is the clay deposit and building the brick factories. And that's already going to consume quite a lot of Obreros to be honest. Right, so each one of them consumes 50 of that. So with this single production that we have there costs me 200 Obreros. I cannot spam brick factory production in the new world. It's just not going to happen. Let's activate this trade route. I just want to see what happens with Winged Monkey. If it's having a lot of danger or not. Right, because the only danger is this area here. Only here do we have a problem and Winged Monkey is on its way. In the old world, they just enter right here, right where we have our Grimmen. So that's really not a big deal. Ah, yep, 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 yep. The Admiral is here again. Just passing by, I guess. Let's unload what we have. Everything, please. And I'm going to build the next cannons. A bit further outside this time. Then we have four of them working here. Perfect. No one will go attack drink water anymore. We are Supreme Commander now as well, since we have so much defense. How are we looking, by the way, when it comes to military force against the other ones? Ah, uh, we are getting closer. Oh, we are almost, we are actually equal with Miss Hunt and Alonso. I think he is, yep, he expanded too quickly in the beginning and now he's rather screwed for now. So he's not too happy looking at the moment. By the way, we haven't really fully explored everything here. Ah, and Winged Monkey was destroyed. Oh, come on, I did that. I know some of you will scratch your head, but he still used this side here once again. What we can do right now though is upgrading a few more buildings. I definitely want to do that since we have a bit of time to waste right now. So that's that. That's basically all we can do anyway since we are running out of timber again. Um, oh, and the new, the new propaganda is coming in again. So minus 20 consumption is fine. Plus 15 on the money side and the happiness can stay the same as well there. So I have everything as usual. And... Um, Another two ship of the lines are coming out as well. Let's just check real quick once again now this courtier. In this courtier, a smaller ride, nothing too bad. Production is up. We don't need the ships here anymore, right? So I'm going to send the ships down here again to Grimmen. And here we can then gather my fleet once again with the other two. Let's get back to the new world. In the new world, I figured, well, um, this is not going to work with the trade route, right? So it doesn't matter how far up I put the trade route, he's still going over here. I have no idea why he's not using this channel there. Probably, no, actually, there's no probably. I mean, he's getting out there and the ship is always going this way. It really doesn't matter. I've tried a few things now there and he's always going this way. That's really bad. So we need to get rid of this island. Defense is not so strong here yet. So there's a high chance we could just you succeed at that. Let's unload unload the 80 or the 35 tons of bricks that we still had. And with that, I'm going to add now two cannon towers to Velo. And yeah, I could of course place it as far outside here as possible, but it doesn't make sense here. What makes more sense is that I'm using it more on the inner side so that we are close to the the warehouse cannon there as well. It's an upgraded warehouse, thanks to the Admiral. And this means that it has more firepower as well. And just having those then here, those cannons there, will make this a pretty strong defense against anyone who's trying to get in here, right? So those two there, and let's build both of them. And with the remaining ships now, I'm going to gather all of them over here somewhere. And the two frigates that I have there, they can also gather there. And then we just try to take the island. There's really no other way of saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need to do that. Otherwise, my trade route is not 
working at all. Off you go. Off you go. That's that, right? Everything here is working properly though. Another thing that we still need to do is the cotton fertility. So once my production is up and running, once my trade routes are working, we still need cotton. We need the cotton to work for the fur coats. Oh yeah, this area is reserved for the city itself. The rum we have, plenty of still, so I'm just going to make a, a rather arbitrary line in the center. We need that here anyway for the oil later. And then, on this side here, I can have some cotton plantations, right? It's actually pretty, there's so much space here, it's beautiful. And here we can now add some of those cottons then that we need. I don't think we have unlocked it yet. I think for the cotton, nope, we haven't unlocked the cotton farms yet. All right, I need to upgrade a few more of these buildings here to unlock the cotton. There it is. Now we have the cotton plantations. And we really just need... Yeah, and the cotton mill, of course. So both of them. But for now, it's fine with that. And it's 144 fields. Pretty big, as we know. All the way up there. So we might actually have two of them on either side. That's four of them. And that's another four on the other side. Let's have the road here oh there's this oil patch <laughs> but that's still fine and here we have that too perfect we have the cotton and here in this little area we might then just have first of all once again a fire station and then the cotton mills And the ratio is two farms, one mill. Let's have four mills for now. That's plenty of mills that we can have in this area. Right. Now my fleet is scattered. Um, we have four ship of the lines. That is absolutely going to work. I'm, I'm going to be confident now. He's got no ships close by. His fleet is up here attacking Miss Hunt right now, I think. Nah, that's impossible. That's a suicide mission. And the fleet is advancing. Yeah, that's quite a lot of ga uh, guns there. So we might hopefully take out the first one rather quickly. Oh, for a moment I thought I would be attacking Alonso. Let's just try to save that ship of the line, even though I think it's too late for that. Yeah, okay, we're going to lose that. It's, they're so slow when it comes to escaping. Doesn't matter though, we're still going to take this island here. And by the while, while we attack, very good. Three ship of the lines have been commissioned now, and Another we might player. need to I think about a I third shipyard, uh, a second shipyard. Any defense around the island there? Nope. There's nothing. Oh, he's actually trying something here. He's getting in there with his ship of the line, but that's going to be too late. We're losing a frigate, that is fine though, because I don't need the frigates forever, and there we've taken it. Perfect. Let's conquer it, and let's just destroy those ship of the lines there as well. They just came in for the rescue, but just a tiny second too late. But he's really quick when it comes to helping out his islands there. Yep, and he's going to lose a ship of the line there. That's good. One down. And the other one is fleeing now. Let's just see what we got in store here as our loot. Perhaps also some items. Oh, 
Vice Almirante Gonzalez. Movement speed and attack range for ships. That's pretty cool. There's lots of good stuff in here. Also worth it if we want to sell it, of course. Some bicycles and tobacco. This ship here, of course, needs to wait now a few moments. And is he trying to come in here? He's got a lot of ships now in the area. But I don't think so. Oh, that feels good. We have taken a new island with lots of oil on it, by the way. That's good to know for the future. Lots of cigars there as well. Lots of coffee. I don't know how he gets all these items there. And let's actually use some of those good items there on my ship of the line, for example, right? So until we want to sell it, we can use these items there, of course. This ship is now 15% faster and 10% stronger when it comes to attack. And my other ship of the line here is going to have this guy here, the sergeant. That's some attack speed at least. Oh, and damage per shot, 10% increase as well. So we might just use both of them on this ship here then. Boosting it a bit. Right, so we got some three good boosted um, ship of the lines now. And there's some items still, some, well, cigars. We might sell that. Right, a bit of coffee there. Something here perhaps. And that felt really good. And Aguada. I mean, of course, we can't hold it for now. We don't have the weapons. And I certainly don't have the influence anymore to build more harbor defense for now. But once we have the influence, we might secure it. For now, it's fine because I can now finally use my trade routes. And that is the rum. And I can now put it all the way to the south here, right? Because it's just passing by. And Dauntless is going to be the first one on this trade route now. Dauntless, you can be on the way. Rather full already. And do we have... No, Isabel is not selling anything. So, I need more clippers there as well. Ah, influence-wise. We are in a bit of a hassle there. Now, that is that. Um, then is the cotton. And in the new world, what I can see... Yep, it's everything prepared now for the canned food, the sewing machines, and the fur coats. So, onwards we go towards engineers now with big steps. Stay tuned. <laughs>